Welcome to Fishing with Steve D. Today we're diving into everything Red Claw for Yabby Fishing in Queensland with the new update proposals from Queensland Fisheries and we're starting right now. So folks, this is the Opera House pots that the Queensland Fisheries um, uh, have started the consultation process, asking for public consultation. Um, now there are a couple of um, uh, groups, uh, Facebook closed groups that you should join. Uh, the first group is NQ Red Claw Yabbies Australia, uh, designed for the northern anglers. Um, but there's also another one, SEQ Red Claw and Outdoors uh, closed Facebook group. Now this one is very important because it's got the Queensland Fisheries proposal uh, linked in this group. Uh, and also it's got the survey which you can fill out and is very important. But let's talk about what is actually happening right now. So folks, this is our exclusive lawful design. We own the intellectual property rights of this open top lift pyramid pots. So the Queensland Fisheries are proposing to move to these styles of open top lift pyramid pots um, of this design possibly in the next 14 months to two years or longer and ban the opera house and funnel pots in Queensland freshwater non-tidal waters for red claw yabby fishing. So folks, I will repeat, possibly is, means it's nothing is definite depending on how the survey goes. Now this is your opportunity to have your say. So jump on to our SEQ Red Claw and Outdoors Facebook closed group and fill out the survey. Now this could play out a few different ways. One, they could ban the Opera House and Funnel Pots only below the lake spillways and above upper upper reaches of the freshwater rivers of all lakes and leave the lakes alone to continue to use the opera house pots and the funnel pots um, or two they could totally ban the opera house pots and the funnel pots in all queensland non-tidal freshwater rivers and lakes possibly in the next 14 months to two years. Now I'm in constant uh, contact with uh, the fisheries and I talk to them uh, weekly um, and they view our opinions um, very much authority wise and so it's important for you also to get in and to have your say to make a real difference folks. So please fill out the survey and have your say today on our SEQ Red Claw and Outdoors page. But let's have a look at these proposed top lift pots in action. There's a lot of negative out there that the square ones don't work, but there's something about a round design pot that works a lot better. Wow, check this footage out that's coming in this video, guys. These pyramid pots, if you're using these down south or if you are in Queensland and you want a more environmentally friendly um, uh, Red Claw Yabby pot, well, check these out, guys. Hey guys and girls, out here today, giving out Steve D's Pyramid Pots uh, another try. As I said from last video, this one's got a plastic insert in it. This one last time was just a plain steel ring in it this time. This time I have spray painted it, um, just to see if it looks natural. Uh, and we'll see which one outperforms what. So here we go. We'll put them in, we'll give them 20 minutes and see how we go. Yeah guys and girls, I don't use anything real flash for bait, so um, normally just use a home brand um, cobs of corn. I do like the Friskers or Purinity brand of uh, cat biscuits, that's probably one of my favourite. I have used the black and gold chicken and vegetable blend. Um, but as I said, I reckon the Frischkes has been great and as I said, it uh, doesn't matter what um, cobs or corn you use uh, at this particular time, um, coals had run out of cobs, so I used bird's eyes. Uh, so there you go ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing much to using for bait. As winter comes, uh, we do like to use fish frames and all that to try and lure them out of underneath the snags and the banks. Hey guys and girls, uh, I've had a question asked me by Steve um, how to find Red Claw around Townsville. Um, as I said, it's quite easy to find Red Claw around Townsville. Um, I use Google Maps 
um, look for large volumes of water or creeks. Um, take the time to explore them creeks. Uh, when getting to the creeks, looking for telltale signs of yabbies being in the creek. So look where birds or other animals may have eat these yabbies. But yeah, where other other creatures may have eating eating the yabbies are uh, like dogs, cats, water rats, shags, all them. So yeah, if you hop on Google Maps, you find large volume of water. Uh, if you are going prospecting for um, these yabbies, I'd advise that you get yourself a Steve D pyramid pot. Um, very quick catching, very successful. So yeah, as that is, that's Steve D. So you will find Steve on, on Facebook. Hey guys and girls, so yeah, as I said, we were out here testing the Steve D pots. Last time I tested, I had a plain steel ring in the top. This time I've painted the st plain steel ring. Um, stayed with the PVC top in the top of the other one. Um, as you can see, there is quite a lot of red claw in this pot. Um, and in this pot here, I would believe there is probably half as many as what's in the PVC ring. But as I said, still, still very, very, very good catch. Um, there is some quite extraordinary big ones in here. There's a big one there, quite big. But yeah, yeah, guys and girls, if you haven't already got these pots. Um, I'd advise you to uh, get in and get these pots. So yeah, these are a Steve D pot. Um, so yeah, fishing with Steve D. Give him a follow on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So yeah, and get yourself these pots. So, yep, as you go guys, these are a pyramid pot, quite easy to get these yabbies out of the pot. So yeah, just tip, the, tip them up into the pot, into the bucket, flip it over, give it a good shake. And that's it, like that. So that's out of one pot, approximately about 50 odd yabbies. Uh, we have got a second pot here to go. So yeah, quite a few few yabbies in there. Some getting stuck in the pot, as you can see, but. Quite easy to get them out. Yeah, and like I said, ladies and gentlemen, this is a 20 gallon bucket. Um, and yeah, I reckon that'd be close to maybe 100, 150 red claw in that bucket. Yeah, guys and girls, so another attempt with the Steve D uh, pyramid pot. Um, quite a few in there. So as I said guys and girls, get yourself away from the Opera House pots because these Steve D um, pyramid pots are just seem to be catching. Hey guys and girls, this is why I purposely use Steve D Yabby Pots um, simply when fishing overnight um, have more luck catching bigger quantities as they can get in and out of the Opera House so guys and girls do yourself a favour get rid of Opera House Pots get in give Steve D a message or a phone call and organise your Steve D Yabby Pots